Hey guys, this is the Dark Preacher, and welcome to a mod spotlight. This is Soda Can Utilities and Soda Can Origin by the Dr. Soda. So, let's take a look at what all we got. First off, if you have used soda can torches before, you know about most of the stuff up here. The ladders, the different sticks that are used in crafting the torches, the lanterns, the fences, the fence gates. I'm not sure if he's added in the levers yet or not. I can't remember. I blame it on not being quite awake yet. But Soda Can Origin adds in other things like bronze bars, steel bars, golden bars, and diamond bars. Also adds in a bronze, uh, bronze block. I dare be double O to try and say that without messing it up. A carbon block, a steel block, copper block, tin block, nickel block, and nickel, tin, and copper ores. Now, it also adds in this little thing, the sturdy metal block, which, if any I would cooperate, <laughs> sturdy metal block. You can use nickel, bronze, or iron to make, and you can use any combination therein. They need three blocks and six ingots. Now, the great thing about this, it adds an alternate recipe for the anvil. You can use three blocks of iron and any of these ingots. Now, you can also use any of these blocks to make the anvil. Now the way you get stuff, well let's do, oh, I don't know, a little bit of tin. Let's see, do I have any tin? No, I don't have any tin on me. Put down the sturdy metal block and make sure that the sides aren't, whoop, aren't touching a uh, soda can fence because it oop. you know what there it gets a little confused and yeah, let's make it noon real quick so we got plenty of light to see why what you do is, is you drop an anvil on it oop wait a minute something right here Let us put down a fresh one, put down some tin, there we go, can you see there, I got three tin powder off of that, Let's put that iron up there, and we'll put that there, now with vanilla ores, The rates are a little lower. You get between one and three dusts per ore. So you could process an entire stack of iron and probably get an entire stack of iron powder at this point in time. He's working on the code right now as we speak. Now, diamond ore will get you diamond powder. That time we got lucky. We got two diamond powder. Well, diamond, lapis, and emerald gets you emerald, lapis, and diamond powder. Now, let's see how much we get out of this lapis. Hey, looky there. Seven. 
and here is the weird part. <laughs> you smell one lapis powder, you get four ink sacks. <laughs> like I said, this is a work in progress. He got me this early version to test out for him. And there's going to be additions, there's going to be changes, because he's still working on it. Now, another quartz ore. Let's see here, let's put that away. That gets you quartz powder, which you can smelt down into nether quartz. Which means, instead of just one piece of nether quartz, you could possibly get three pieces out of one ore. Now, redstone. Let's put that there. That got a seven. And he's calling it redstone powder. All he's done is just rename the regular redstone dust. Because you can still place it like normal. It's just a name change. Now, over here, we've got steel bars, bronze bars, golden bars, diamond bars. Bronze? If that would work right. You get bronze bars, just like making iron bars, except you use bronze ingots. And you do the same thing with steel and the gold, but diamond takes six diamonds. But you get this awesome looking bra awesome looking bars. Look at this. And that is bright and vibrant. Look at that. You can use that as accents somewhere. Same thing with the gold bars. I mean I've got it over here as a window covering on my little hot hovel. <laughs> now, here's every ore and every dust you get and all the corresponding things that come with them. Emerald, emerald powder. You can smelt that down into emeralds. Gold powder, gold ingots. Iron powder, iron ingots. Coal powder, you can smelt that down into coal. Diamond powder, you can smelt into diamonds. Copper, turns into copper. Nickel into nickel, tin into tin. Now, none of this is ore dictionary yet. That's coming with uh, the uh, beta release, I think. Lapis powder smelts into ink sacks, as we've already seen, and I don't know why. <laughs> but, like I've said, it's a work in progress. Now, carbon dust, that's interesting. Let's get us a block of coal. You get your block of coal, you place it, drop an anvil on it, and that gets you carbon dust. Let's put that away and that away. Put that there. Let's do that again. That way you'll actually show up in the bar. Carbon dust. Carbon dust is used <clears throat> pardon me, to make compressed carbon. Compressed carbon is used to make a carbon block. That's this over here. Ain't that neat? But, hi new. This, he's planning on making this a GUI less, as in no GUI, system. He's already got this as the ore doubling system, which is really awesome. It's really cool. And he's still working on it. So, I have yet to figure out how to make steel. <laughs> That's one thing I've forgotten to ask him. Because there's obviously some way of doing it with 
possibly the sturdy metal block or some combination of something that I just can't figure out. I mean, we'll take that, we'll take that, and we'll take that, and we'll take some of this. Well, let's go play around with this for a minute. Let's see what we can get. I mean, there's got to be some sort of combination of this stuff. Nope. Or maybe... That. That. Black coal won't burn. Huh. That's weird. Well, let's turn it into nine coal. Okay. That doesn't work. That works. Carbon dust. Get one of those. Carbon dust doesn't do anything. Well, I don't know how to work that. <laughs> I don't know how to make steel. Steel powder. Like, seriously, I have no clue. Hmm. I mean, let's see here. Carbon block. Hmm. I wonder. Well, what happens when you crush? An iron block. And yeah, my inventory is getting rather crowded right now, but it's all in the name of science. Nope. Hmm. Coal powder, iron powder. It. That, that, and nope, that don't do nothing. I might have to ask him about that. But he's got this really neat looking logo block. He's been playing around with textures and stuff, trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. But, as you can see, you've got a lot of options for lighting, fencing, ladders. And the great thing about these ladders is they're different speeds. I mean, we've got the wooden ladder. Normal, vanilla, wood ladder. Rather slow. Stone ladder. Same speed, no noise. Obsidian ladder. Quite a bit faster. Another brick ladder, still quite fast. Blaze ladder, woo! I went so fast I glitched into a block. Another rack ladder, just as slow. Bedrock ladder, just as slow. Horse ladder, whoa! I don't know if it's actually going really, really fast, or if it's just the number of rungs between making it look really fast. But you've got options. I mean, if you want to build something that looks really cool, and you want to use these things right now, go download Soda Can Torches. I mean... It's really easy. Now, the nether brick torches. Let's see here. All these torches. Torch. 
the netherrack torch uses a flint and steel and a netherrack stick, but you get 16. So two pieces of netherrack, one piece of flint, and one piece of iron, you can get 16 netherrack torches. The obsidian torch, two pieces of obsidian, some coal, you get 16 obsidian torches. And these things are blast resistant and very hard to break. I mean, let's see here. Get rid of that. That's another brick torch. That's an obsidian torch. They look pretty cool, right? the fun part. And then a flint and steel. Normally, normal torches it popped right off. Matter of fact, let's go get a normal torch. Let's see, normal torch. Right there. And we'll also test the blast resistance of a few of these other blocks. So, we have steel. We have carbon. have some obsidian. Okay, so normal torches. And obsidian torches. TNT, hit it with flint and steel, back up a little bit. Wow. You want a good blast resistant block? Carbon. Carbon block. Now, I wonder. Oh, well then. Hmm. I guess that's a 1.8 thing. Yeah, can't make a charcoal block. <clears throat> but I'm sure if you could, you could use it to make a carbon block. But obsidian torches, blast resistant. No more sneaky creepers sneaking up on you and blowing blowing up your torches. Now, test this. We'll test that. Test the stone torch. The quartz torch. The netherrack torch. We already know that the bedrock torch is not going to be a little move. So, that, that. We're doing this for science, folks. Not just because, you know, I like explosions. Okay. Stone. Another brick, blaze, blaze, another brick, stone, quartz, netherrack, flint and steel, 
Hit it. Back up a little bit. Yep. None of these other torches whoop, can withstand the explosion. <laughs> I know something that blows up just a smidge harder than an old TNT. I think I need to change my game mode to do it. Otherwise he won't appear at all. We're also going to test a few other things as well. This is just going to be a quick and dirty little box to hold in. We're going to see how well carbon blocks hold up to a wither explosion. Still in there. Well then. <laughs> oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Cycle through real quick. Okay, so I might not have made this high enough. So, we know that these down here survived the blast. The obsidian torches survived the blast. He might have glitched, or I might have forgotten him. Block. I have been known to do that. And where the bosses have been known to glitch. Alright, buddy. Three, two, one. And he hit the creeper. <laughs> But he's stuck. He is stuck. But not for long. <laughs> that creeper tried to get him. That's a first. know these will resist the initial blast but they cannot stand up to a weather trying to bust his way through so that's a good test but anyway 
guys. Like always, I'm the Dark Preacher. This is Soda King Utilities, and this is Soda King Origin. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.